how much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the no noisome beast and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. Uh, is that, hey, that's, that's what's coming to this place. The, the four sword judgments of the Lord on you, on you. Lie. Are you niggas? No, you, uh, that's not it. You Edomites? But, uh, I'm a, I'm a fight. All, all you people, man. All you people who fought against, fought against Jerusalem. Everyone, everyone that's against Yahweh by Shem Yahshua gonna catch that fate. Yeah. Huh. Go ahead. You got another one? Nah, either. Okay, you got another. Go ahead. Um. First Peter three nah. and twenty. Which sometimes were disobedient, which was, which once, when once long suffering of Yahweh waited in the days of Noah while the ark was prepared, therein few that is eight souls were saved by water, and a like figure unto even, un, even baptism, though also we save us, but not to put in the way of the filth of the flesh, but answer of the good consequences, conscience, conscience towards Yahweh. By resurrection of Yahweh Shai who is gone unto heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh, and the angels and authority and the powers being made subject unto him. Amen. Well, this this is about what's going to happen. We talking about is the fire coming? It's a flood coming. It's a flood of fire coming here this, to the America. And, and back then, in the days of Noah, only eight people survived the water flood. And only people that's going to survive this flood that's coming is the elect of uh, Yasha Allah and the one third of Israel. Two thirds of Israel going to die in this motherfucking place. That's right. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, you grab uh, uh, it's 14, 4 and, and 21. Yeah, I knew you were. I, I figured. L four lamentations. And 21. Rejoice and be glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamentations. Yeah. 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter yeah, of yeah. Edom. Yeah. Thou dwellest in the land of Ur. Oh, that's a uh, precept too. A cup shall also pass through thee, and thou shalt be drunken. And thou shalt make thyself naked. God, because you, you, you caused us to drink of that cup. You know? But now the Most High is about to reverse it, and, and all of the things that, that were once upon us, that, that once came upon us, it's about to come upon you now. You know, so so slavery, slavery is, is, is coming to the so-called white man, you know, according to the Bible. Now, now, if you if you don't believe us, you know, come, come, you know, we can we can plead out of out of the word of the Lord, man. You know, because according to the Bible, the nation of of of, of Edom, that's the so-called white man today, and there's prophecies and scriptures that prove that. You know, he got he got something for you. Can I go ahead? Uh, uh, the Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Book of Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord that Yahweh will put all those these, these currents curses. curses upon the enemies. Thy, thine enemies. Thy enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecutes thee. Yep. Hey, hey, all them curse all them curses that, that we had on us. The Lord gonna going put on put on you on you heathens. That's right. I got it. I got it. Come. Okay. Somebody got something? Anybody got a scripture? Uh, uh, Come. You can you can read the second. Come. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Lamentations four and twenty two. The, public, the the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more no more carry thee away into captivity. And then you gotta understand too. That, that Zion, Zion is, 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 is representing the elect. You know, there's, you got Israel as a whole, but then you got the Israel of the Most High, according to Galatians 6 and 16. You know, so the ones that's gonna escape that, that judgment that's about to come is gonna be the Israel of the Most High Heavenly Father. You know, that, that, that cup shall no longer come, come unto us, man. 
we're not we're no longer going to go into captivity you know you got these edomites like with that movie uh get out you got edomites these so-called white men that want to put us back into slavery but but it ain't gonna happen it is it's, it's not gonna happen i got some kind this is uh exodus chapter 30 uh 33 Exodus chapter 33, starting from verse 22. Uh, this was the commandments given to us uh, during the time of Moses. Slot, not stutter, slot. Uh, verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. No speaking about who? Uh, the heathens, uh, the, uh, Esau. Uh, Moab, Ammon, Japheth, and the rest of the heathens. If we, whenever we're in line and right with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he safeguards us. That's why, uh, brothers in the truth, you know, the whole family life, that's why we get delivered out of situations that you niggas in the world otherwise would get destroyed in. You know, if, if we can we, we can get caught in a situation where 10 J come at us miraculously without us even having to put our hands on anybody, the situation will get resolved. Or uh, we'll say uh, he saw his law enforcement, you know, the cops, they might try to hem us up, and we'd be good. You pray. You know, mm -hmm. once, you, once you pray to the Most High Heavenly Father and you do it with faith, he'll deliver you, man. And I, I just, I, I got a, a testimony about that before I was, I was coming here. You know, Jake ride dirty, you know, sometimes. You know, when you ain't, when you ain't got it, you know, because we all, we all broke. You know, and I prayed, they're, they're right behind me, I prayed, you know. And, and, and the most hot made them go one way or the other way, you know? Yeah. But, but, but basically, just to go back to Lamentations, it says that, that uh, can you read 22 again? Uh, the brother said that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Lamentations 4 and 22. I will punish thy iniquity. I will punish, the punishment of thy iniquity, iniquity is accomplished, o, o daughter of Zion. He will no he more far. carry the away into captivity. Now he will no longer carry thee away into captivity, you know, which that's the reason why a, a lot of our people, the, the ones that take the RFID chip, they're going to die, man. They're going to be put to death because the RFID chip is a, is a form of captivity. You know, it's a, it's a form of slavery. Can, can somebody grab Exodus 21 and 6? I'm, I'm right here. Because, because, uh, this is the same, when you implement that RFID chip, you have to do what? You have to pierce the flesh to, to put it inside of you. That's the mark of the beast according to the Bible. Can somebody grab that scripture too? Uh, Revelation 13 and 16? I got that Exodus. Go, go ahead and grab it. Yep. This is, uh, Exodus 21, uh, verse 6. Uh, I'll start from 5. Uh, and if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife and my children, I will not go out free. Yeah, bro, bro. Then, his, then his master uh, shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door, or unto the door post. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. So it, it says, bring him out to the door post of the house, and his master shall bore his ear through, you know, and he shall serve his master forever. Well, basically, when you take that RFID chip, that's you saying that you want to serve Esau for the for the for the uh, remainder of, of his uh, his empire, man, for the remainder of, uh, forever, because he, Esau thinks that he's going to endure forever, you know. But but this kingdom is the second leg of the Roman Empire, and the and the Lord says in the Bible that this is going to be taken down. And you know what's going to take down this place? It's going to be the angels of the Lord, and it's going to be the ICBM missiles, man. That's right. Because the Bible talks about ICBM missiles. It doesn't necessarily come out and say, okay, well, this is a bomb. It calls it by similitudes. It calls it by metaphors. It say, it'll call it by, by an arrow. It'll call it by a spear, by a, a, a glittering spear or a glittering sword. God, hold, hold on. Go ahead. Uh, uh, no, it's... Who I know. Okay, yeah. okay. Revelation 13 and 16. He calls it, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in the right hand or 
in their forehead. And, and that's not talking about small nations and great nations. Uh, Even though all of the nations, this the R five D chip, which is which is the market of beast according to the Bible, is going to be implemented worldwide. You know, it, it's not talking about them receiving Christianity or, or an embargo. Small nations and, and great nations receiving an embargo. When you receive an embargo, that means you can't you can't buy or sell. So how can the how can the RFID chip be be? I mean, how can the uh, the, the embargo be the market of beast? You know, if you receive an embargo, that means you can't buy or sell. So the only thing that fits the description is is the RFID chip, man. Can you grab that? And this is this is in the blue letter. This is in uh, Revelations 13 and 16, and this is the word for mark. The word in the Greek is karagma. It says a stamp. An imprinted mark of the mark stamp on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. The mark branded upon horses means carved, sculptured, graven works of idol idol. The, the point, the point was things carved, you know, or or in, or in, in sculpted work. When they when they give you that RFID chip, what they do is they they the word the definition that should be in here is a thing inserted, you know, because the the way that they give you the mark of the beast is is by inserting it into your hand, which which fits the description which fits the description of of how they they implement that RFID chip. Now now drop drop down to uh, can you drop down to to uh uh. Read, read all the way down to the bottom. Okay, God. Grab uh, Galatians uh, 6 and 17. Oh. Revelation 13 and 17. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. There is wisdom. Let him, he that understandeth, understanding count the number of the beast, it is 600, three score, and six. The, the, the number of the beast is 600, three score, and six. But it says, let him that have wisdom count the number of the beast. Now, it, it's not talking about the, the wisdom of this world because you got you got uh, people that try to break that down, you know, with this worldly wisdom, and they'll, they'll, they'll do uh, get into algorithms, you know, and, 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 and things of that nature. You know, they'll, they'll try to... Uh, you use science to try to to try to break it down, and they'll be all the way far left, man. They they even the, the Roman Catholic Church and these other Bible thumpers or grape juice drinkers, as Apostle Tahar would call them, they 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 will have you thinking that it's an actual literal stamp that, that's being stamped upon the forehead, man. That's the reason why the scriptures say, "Let he that have wisdom count the number of the beast." Hey, before before we break that down, can you grab a uh, Wisdom of Solomon? I, I believe that's the seventh chapter. Seven one. Uh, it's like like sixteen or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not not seven. Matter of fact, it's nine. Nine and fourteen. Oh, oh God! All right. Uh, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine, verse fourteen. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. Uh, verse 15 for the corruptible body presses down the soul and the earthly tabernacle talking about the body uh, and the earthly tabernacle weighs down the mind that abuses upon many things God and the earthly tabernacle weighs upon the mind that abuses upon anything it, it, you know so it's not talking about that earthly wisdom keep going verse 16 and hardly do we uh, geese yes Oh, yes. And, and, and hardly do we guess aright at things that are upon earth. And with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who has searched out. So, so this would, you know, because it's in the scripture, it would be considered 
one of those secret things that's of the most most high heavenly father. And, and the only ones that will that will be able to understand what the what the mark of the beast truly is, well the Holy Spirit gotta be dealing with you. That's the reason why it says like he that have wisdom count the number of the, uh, of the beast. It's not talking about the people that are of this world that, that have that earthly wisdom. Because the scripture says that, that uh, the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the Most High Heavenly Father. That's the reason why all these people got you thinking that the mark of the beast is, 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 is something else. You know, it's cut. But, but they're not going into the scriptures. They don't even go into the words and the definitions to be able to break it down to get a thorough understanding of what it's talking about. God, can you, can you grab, uh, can you read that again in, in verse 18? You know, because the mark of the beast is, is an RFID chip. You know, a, a, when you go into that word mark, the word mark means a thing inserted, a, a thing pricked in, you know? Revelations 13 and 18. Here's the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the I'm number on. of the beast, for it is call. the number of a man. His number is 600 three score and six it says his number is 600 three score and six right when you look up that word 600 three score and six the word there is, is kaisai stigma on now anything on here grab that in galatians in in, in uh read, read galatians uh 16 and 17. this is galatians 16 uh -huh. and 17. from henceforth let 